Hi everyone, welcome back to UWorld's question of the day. My name is Samantha, I'm the nurse here at UWorld, and we're back with another day of pulmonary week. So today the nurse has taught a client with newly diagnosed asthma, which of the following statements by the client would require follow-up, select all that apply. So go ahead, pause the video, drop your answers into the comments below, and I'm gonna jump right into our rationale. So our correct options are one and three. Again, requires follow-up, meaning we're looking for incorrect statements. Um, so taking ibuprofen, aspirin, and NSAIDs can be irritants that trigger asthma attacks in certain clients, so they should actually be avoiding these ones. Um, option three, I should avoid exercising to decrease my symptoms. Exercise supports respiratory health. It helps strengthen those lungs. We do want to avoid exercise in an active asthma attack or an exacerbation, but at maintenance, exercise will help this client. Two, four, and five are going to be our incorrect options because they don't require follow-up. So why is this? Um, where It's best practice and does not require follow-up to measure that peak expiratory flow rate. Um, this is a measure of how well asthma is being controlled, and it can indicate an impending flare-up. Same thing with option four there, I want to wash my bed sheets in warm water weekly. Uh, allergens can be a big trizer, trigger for asthma, so washing these bed linens regularly with uh, detergent and bleach in hot or warm water can reduce these allergen levels. And lastly, option number five, I should avoid taking that inhaled corticosteroid during an acute exacerbation. Um, this is a maintenance med and not an emergency med, so in this case this does not require follow-up. Click the link in bio for more information on UWorld Nursing.